This is a big scandal. Everyone's talking about it. I love that dress, by the way. It's beautiful. Very nice. What do you think? Um, well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. I think this has been irresistible gossip, hasn't mm. it? Um, everybody seems to have a story, an anecdote about it. And I think it's because daytime TV is supposed to be squeaky clean. It's meant to mm. be, you know, tray bakes and um, mm. advice about housewives, whatever. Mm. And the fact that it could be tainted like this, and I, as it unfolds, it's very reminiscent of the Weinstein. Mm. The Weinstein vibes it's giving me. It's a young impressionable boy who wanted a career in TV and that is an abuse of power isn't it because he got him his job in TV and then they proceeded to have a relationship and I think that's what makes this so stinky and Philip Schofield he's deceived us all we all trusted him he was mm. a safe pair of hands although he was never that popular he had an average popularity rating of 37 percent throughout throughout the time he was on the show but we trusted him didn't we I Everybody didn't, I, I didn't him. like him at all I think and the, <laughs> I like, it's like, the like, way he managed to convince not only the audience, but his wife, now seemingly his TV partner, Holly Willoughby. He convinced everyone and we feel deceived. And I think that's why. But don't forget, this is gossip, yes, but gossip is good for us and it bonds people. Does and it, I'm, yeah, it's been think? proven. Gossip has health benefits. Does I'm it? taking it as a positive. Depends if you are the centre of that gossip. Oh, no, not for him. Not for Phil. Not for him, but then you said he, <laughs> he's deceived everybody. He didn't... A lot of people around him appear to have already known the rumours were going everywhere anyway. How one it's star interesting. can have so much sway. He had so much say over who worked at this morning, who, who got the chop, who stayed, the stars on screen, off screen. He had so much sway. He was like the absolute leader of that show, and I think that's really intriguing. Mm. What do you think, Benavi? Well, I'm, I'm, it gripped you? I've been struggling over the last few days to understand why this is newsworthy at all. I mean, it's obviously very sad for Philip. Not, for, you know, have, no, it's, 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 it's very sad for Philip to have his reputation trashed. It's his own fault. You know, yeah, it is his own fault, but I don't think that having an extramarital affair and lying about it is all that unusual in life. Granted, the boy was 15 when he joined, uh, when he met um, Philip, but I don't think he joined until a few years later. And uh, by the boy's own admission, young man now, the relationship started when he was in his 20s, so... But, but they've both... I mean, look, I, I'm, not, I'm not casting doubt on what he's saying, but they have both lied, haven't they? When ITV initially yeah, but, approached them, but, they said that... There but, was Nana, how many affair. people... Fact, Philip has been lying from the start. But how many people have extramarital affairs and then blast it from the rooftop in order for the integrity of their position to be maintained? It just doesn't happen. This is an age-old story that, unfortunately, for the protagonist antagonists in this, in this particular stories unfolded in the public domain. But what staggers me really, I think the real story here is that the British public, if all the airtime it's getting is reflective of their interest in it, can be so interested in something so irrelevant that doesn't really impact well, anyone's I, I, lives. I, I don't, you know what, I, th I think there's a level of it that I think is a bit overkill, but there is a level of it that is relevant. And the level so of what's it the relevance? The relevance to me is that somebody in a senior position can use that position in terms of an abuse of power and literally, you know, put a young person... But is the young... No, he wanted, you ask me a question. Sorry, you asked me a question. Career. Sorry, hold on, Amy. But is he... Hang on, sorry. You asked me a question. I'll finish my answer before you both talk over me. Right. So, no, what I'm saying is it, yeah. it, it is, in a sense, it's the abuse of power, and that yeah. is, I think, the ultimate crux of it. But also because Philip Schofield has lied on so many occasions. I mean, he came out as gay, so he'd been lying to his wife initially, if, if rumours are to be believed that she didn't know. I thought he was gay anyway. I mean, I'm just saying that's what I thought. That's what I thought, I too. thought he was. So when yeah. you say it, I thought, wasn't he already gay? I don't, you know, anyway, so he lied to his wife. And then they did the queue gate thing where they jumped the queue, which was rather unsavoury, considering they're supposed to be, be squeaky clean, and they did it for the benefit of those who couldn't go. Very nice of Holly. And then this, this final incident, which is everybody knows about. Yeah, we completely... Um, I think it's an insight into the way TV and the entertainment industry can work. And I actually wouldn't be surprised if this prompts a bit of a Me Too moment, because I think there's a lot of people... But that's a lot of innuendo there, There's that, a lot of Amy. people who work in entertainment yeah. who have been in these situations where they've got into relationships to further their on-screen potential. But the young man and is that's not... that's what this boy... That's what but he's not complaining. Boy. He's not... We com haven't heard from him, I believe. Well, we have. He, his lawyers have made a declaration that actually he maintains no relationship started when he was underage. It all happened later. His lawyers were paid for by Philip Schofield. Mm. Really short sighted thing for Philip Schofield to have done because he empowered the boy to have third party no, advice. He thought he was controlling, he he was controlling it. it and actually what he did was take the lid off it. But 
The, the, the point is there has to be... I think it's really wrong to uh, imply that there's some kind of grooming. There may have been grooming, but there's no suggestion from the young man that there's been grooming going on or that it was an abusive relationship. An what, abusive why do you think power. it is? It's abusive power, been, yes. Because the fact is that the boy had to leave the show and, the, and a lot of sources have said that the boy was very distressed and put out. And we don't know the dynamics. If you're having a relationship... No, but we someone, don't know. At, we, but, but, Amy, you just know, said we don't but know. We, we do know that somebody was having a relationship with somebody a lot more junior than them at work, and that's problematic. And we also know... But that, that doesn't make it know. worthy of national news. It doesn't make it necessarily illegal. The innuendo here... It's incredibly here, unethical, though, the, isn't it? The, but... Well, it's wrong in the workplace, and probably it's prohibited by his employment contract. Most employment contracts prohibit relationships within a workplace. But... You know, that in itself, you know, he's being... The, the, the impression we're being given by the press is that this boy has been preyed on and that he, it's an abusive relationship. I think, by the way, most relationships where there's a massive age gap, I think, personally, I think it's unhealthy. I mean, that doesn't mean that, you know, all relationships like that are unhealthy. But the innuendo, I think, is very dangerous, unless there's a specific no, but, crime but, alleged, but, but in which case allege no, the crime and prosecute it. No, but, but there's a but, but, but isn't there? there? Neither, that neither it's, Nana it's, nor I have used the word grooming. What, what well, I you said there's a Weinstein well, element to yes, this. Well, that, that was that grooming. He said, "Hey, boy, I'm going to make you a star. Well, no, Come the, on my show, Wein, I'll Wein, give you a job." Weinstein is in jail. But, but, Weinstein no, is in no, no, jail. No, no, but that's how Weinstein yeah. used his power. Yeah, but, in exactly but, the same way. But Amy, to draw the parallel. Sorry, Amy. But whilst you know, I hear the Me Too element of it. Other people may come forward if if there is such a thing, and if that is the case. But ultimately, the boy was of age. And, you know, ultimately, Philip didn't do anything illegal. He didn't, but he did something no. incredibly unethical. It was unethical, and yes. He, but he it, seemingly but it, but seduced that boy by no, offering but, but, him a job. No, no, but, but we don't know that for sure. So until that young lad comes forward, then, you know, th then those questions will be you answered. You him at a theatre school. Well, I know, but you meet people in all sorts of I places. think if there was an allegation there was no, of a crime... No relationship until he actually joined our TV, and in that case, he was uh, yeah. of age.